Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Yo man, if you're looking to go into the medical field and you don't know what you want to do, you don't know um, a lot about a certain career in the medical field, you came to the right spot. All I do here is drop knowledge. Um, I've been in the medical field for 12 years. I haven't done all of them down here, but I've been around the medical field long enough to know um, a little bit about all of them. And that's why, that's why my knowledge comes in to help you guys make the best decision possible for your careers now i respect radiology i love what i do um but if i knew the knowledge that i give you guys before i chose my career would i have chosen radiology first i'm gonna be honest i don't think so i don't think i would choose radiology um but that's you know that's me you know but i didn't have the resources that a lot of people of you guys out there that have you know you guys have out there and that's why I decided to make my channel and to take it further and give you different career options because a lot of people don't know. Yeah, you can go to a school and be like, oh, you know, the student advisor, you know, what I should go into and what I should get into. I like the medical field. They're going to be like, okay, get into this. But they don't know. They haven't been in the medical field. They don't know what it is to be in trauma. They don't know what it is to be in the ER. They don't know what it is to deal with patients. They don't know what it, what it is to deal with patients that can't move. <laughs> Just things like that that, you know, the normal person won't think about, right? So that's what I try to teach you guys here, you know, just to give you an a inside hint, an inside, a insight of the career that you're looking at or possibly looking towards. So if you can do me a favor, go down there, man, and please subscribe to the channel. Also, up there, hit the notification bell um, so you know when I drop a video. Right next to the notification bell, though, there is a join button. Feel free to check it out. You know, maybe you can join it here, and if you can't, it's all good. You know, I'm here to support you guys regardless and to you know, give you the knowledge that I know. So today, oh, and you have to like, 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 you have to like the video because when you like the video, YouTube actually recommends my channel to other people, to other recommendations, um, whether my channel or the video itself, you know, so that helps me out, which I greatly appreciate. Um, so today I want to talk to you guys about is medical technologists, um, which are these guys, and sometimes referred to as just lab techs. You know, and um, they play a vital, vital role in our in our healthcare in general. You know, our healthcare in general. When you go to the hospital, when you go to the doctor's office, uh, mostly hospitals. Um, you don't see medical technologists in doctors' offices much that I know of, but I know that they work in hospitals for sure. Um, and those are the people that come and you know they draw your blood, and once they draw your blood, they go and they do things like this. I think it's pretty cool, right? It seems like scientific. Well, it's a laboratory, you know, the laboratory, it's a laboratory, laboratory tech. So um, what they usually do, I'm a, they do a, a variety of things, but I'm gonna give you three things that they do. So one is that um, they do clinical and laboratory procedures, basically. So they make sure everything is running smoothly in the laboratory department, um, inventory as far as like supplies that the technologists need. Um, make sure that the phlebotomists are doing their job and going and get the blood for the patients that need it, things like that. They um, collect and analyze blood, um, tissue, and bodily fluids. You know, so they check all those, they get samples of it, they have machines that they check everything, make sure that everything's okay, or if it's not okay, you know, they're, they're the first ones to see the report, you know. Um, they also prepare blood, plasma, and um, platelets to give to patients but before they do that they have to make sure it's compatible to the patient and it's not going to get the patient sicker than you know what they already are um, so that's very important so like I said they play a vital vital role in our medical team and our medical care um, so thinking about being a medical technologist I was doing some research um, and most schools say you have to have your bachelor's um, so it's a four-year degree, you have to have your bachelor's, and then you have to pass, uh, like every career, you have to pass the state board, um, and to make sure nationally accredited. And, you know, I mean, I don't, I was, I was looking at um, a school in Florida, I think it's Kaiser, I think I said it before, no, I don't get paid by Kaiser, you know what I'm saying, maybe one day, <laughs> but no, I just like to give you information. Um, so Kaiser says they have a, a associate's degree for medical technologists, and maybe they have a bridge for, for bachelors. And I don't know if hospitals hire you with an associate. I'm not sure about that, to be honest. Um, but that's a medical technologist. Most important thing, right? Salary, 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 salary. How much you're gonna make? 
how uh, one motivates so much is gonna be. Yo, so in Florida you start for the salary of seventy K, which is not bad. Seventy K for well for a bachelor's is a little low. I, I, you know, th these numbers can give or take some. Um, Texas you're making seventy three K a year and in Cali you're making seventy nine K a year. Now, like I said, these um, can fluctuate between differential pay, weekend pay, bonus pay, all that plays a part of it. Um, but for the most part, I think it's a cool career. Um, and, you know, you it's not boring because you sit in a desk for a little bit. Sometimes you got to go draw blood. Sometimes you're going to go back and sit down and chill. So it's not boring at all. You're always going to have something to do. Always meet different people, different patients, different everything. So I think it's a dope career. So, hey guys, it's a quick rundown. Hopefully, it helps somebody out there. If you have anything, any more comments, questions, go down there, man. Uh, leave me, let me know. And um, thank you for watching, guys. Yeah, I already know. We got more coming.